You know, you may have noticed in some of the beauty shots shown during the Olympics that the country of Japan is really a photographer's dream. Everywhere you look is a photo op. So tonight, Scott Swan shows us a company in Japan that helps people find the best place to get a great picture. From the hustle in Tokyo to the charm in Kyoto and everywhere in between, Japan is ready for her close up. You could try to capture it all by yourself. So now the exposure is good. Or you could learn the best photo locations from the experts. Auto ISO off. They see this country from a different angle. Try a couple more. Nice. Looks pretty good. What are you looking for? Well, I'm trying to find something that I, at least it feels like no one else has seen. Lucas is one of the photography coaches with iExplore a company that shows you where to take a great picture in Japan and how to get the best shots. So we wanted to introduce photography, but also introduce Japan the way we see it through photography. They want visitors to think differently when taking pictures. Whether it's something like Shibuya Crossing or something here in, in this city, and they take that first shot, they just take a shot, and they go, that looks pretty good, and they leave. And that is the biggest mistake. You stay in that location and you go deeper. You try some other ideas. Try not to be too satisfied with that first shot. Vertical oriented photo. Lucas right? helped me one night in Tokyo. This was my first picture. Not bad. This is cool features that people just don't use. But Lucas wanted me to think out of the box. So I tried something different and got this photo. His reflections work really well with phones. That's a nice wow shot that I've, I've taught people and you know, they're like, well, how did you get that? In Kyoto, the Inari Shrine is widely popular for photography during the day. But I explore leads photo workshops at night when few people are around. You can have a lot more of an intimate experience here in the dark. Paul shows photographers how to do light painting. If once you learn the, the principle of this, you can play with these lights a lot. And using long exposure. My photographer went on the tour and got these amazing photos. Okay, come over here. I explore designs tours that take you off the beaten path. You're discovering little places that you feel like you're the first person to ever have been there. Taking photos in Japan's narrow alleyways, capturing the country's unique architecture, or doing portrait shoots in a traditional Japanese home. Hello. Hello, welcome. Yokoso. Nice to see you. We knew that people wanted to photograph beautiful women dressed in kimono, and she was, you know, just the right person for that. So what we set up is a sort of workshop where we teach people, we show to people how to properly take beautiful images of geisha, but also junko in this case. So whether you're exploring Japan or going on vacation somewhere else with your family, using a long exposure and moving around, challenge your eye. You just take a stab at it, see what comes out and chances are you'll be amazed at the pictures you bring home.